Methylfolate is often praised as one of the best supplements when it comes to optimizing methylation and helping people with MTHFR mutations. But why are thousands of people reacting negatively to it and get severe side effects like depression, anxiety, and even panic attacks? In this video, I want to explain how exactly methylfolate works, why it's not actually a methyl donor, and why it's so badly misunderstood in the holistic health community. To get started, what even is folate and methylfolate? It's actually called vitamin B9, and it's found in many natural foods, such as green leafy vegetables like spinach, beets, and avocados. It functions in many different ways in the body, but some of them are the utilization of proteins in the body, the formation of new blood cells, and the reading and creation of DNA. Because of that, it's very important for the proper development of babies, and you will often find it in prenatal supplements for women, usually in the form of folic acid, folinic acid, or methylfolate. As the name suggests, methylfolate is very important in methylation. It helps reduce homocysteine, which you don't want too much of in your body, and it's also very important in balancing your neurotransmitters. Now, when you consume folates from the foods in your diet or folic acid from synthetic supplements, it first has to be converted to become bioactive in your body. This conversion is as follows. Folate is first converted to dihydrofolate, which is then converted to tetrahydrofolate. Tetrahydrofolate needs to be converted one more time into 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. And this last conversion is dependent on an enzyme connected to the MTHFR gene. Some people have a genetic mutation or variation in the MTHFR gene, a polymorphism. Because of that, their body might have difficulties in the last conversion step to the final and active methylfolate. They're then often told by their practitioner or basically the entire internet to take methylfolate directly, just to make things easier for their body and to skip the last conversion step. While this works well for some, there is a significant amount of people who get severe side effects from methylfolate, usually after the two to three month mark. How can a supplement that is supposed to make your symptoms better actually increase them? What's going on here? What you have to understand is that methylfolate is both a methyl donor and a methyl reducer at the same time. It donates methyl groups outside the cell, but inside the cell at the level of the DNA, it takes away methyl groups. And by doing this, it turns on specific genes that are responsible for neurotransmitter reuptake. Not just methylfolate, but all folates do this. That means more serotonin, dopamine, and adrenaline are reabsorbed by your nerve cells. That means when you supplement methylfolate, you have two competing effects taking place at the same time. You have the methyl donation from the methyl group that is attached to the folate, and you have the increased neurotransmitter reuptake from the folate itself. The net effect of this in terms of your methyl balance is often negative. And for undermethylators who already have low neurotransmitter levels, this is a huge problem because you're further reducing your serotonin, potentially your dopamine, and even your adrenaline. Like I said before, at first they often benefit from the additional methyl groups from the folate and they see some temporary improvement, but after two to three months things get worse and they often crash. That's the point where the neurotransmitter reuptake takes effect and overshadows the benefits from the additional methyl groups. Now, of course, I'm generalizing here. Some undermethylators do fine on methylfolate. It's usually those that don't have critically low serotonin levels to begin with. If you want to supplement it, be very careful and start with low doses. And also keep in mind the two to three month mark that I mentioned before. If you're already having side effects, then this is most likely what is going on. And you need to keep it in mind when you want to take things further. Now, of course, the increased neurotransmitter reuptake can also be used to your advantage if you are an overmethylator. Unlike undermethylators, overmethylators have too much neurotransmission going on in their brain and nervous system. 
In that case, folates can help, not in the form of methylfolate, but folic acid or folinic acid. I hope this helped you understand how folates exactly work in the body and why so many people get it wrong. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of cookie cutter methylation protocols online that help some people, but are detrimental for others. As always, get tested properly and then work with a professional to set up your diet and supplement regimen. I hope you like this video and I see you in the next one.